Welcome to Play Digital Signage Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up our Video Input Plugin. The Video Input Plugin lets you play content from devices connected to your player. For example, connecting an HDMI to USB device will let you play content from sources like live TV, satellite TV, a streaming camera, and much more. In this tutorial, I will show you two examples of how you could use the Video Input Plugin. Let's start by going to Playlists, and let's open up a random playlist. In this first example, I will show you how to use the Video Input Plugin in an existing playlist, so let's add a new slide, open the Plugins menu, and find the Video Input Plugin. Let's maximize the plugin. The duration of the slide tells the player how long the slide should play, so don't forget to set the duration. When I'm done, I click Publish, and then let's go set up the player and see the result. On the player side, I will need to activate the Video Input plugin. I will open Options and then click Video Input. Here I find two dropdowns, where the first one is where I select my video input, and as you can see, any devices connected to this player will be listed. In this example, I will pick the USB video. The second dropdown is the sound. Here I can pick any device connected to this player supporting sound. In my example, I'm not going to pick any of these. When I've picked my devices, I can see a preview of the device I choose. Let's back up by clicking Options and then Back. And this is how my content looks, where the second slide is the video input. Let's go back to Playlists. My next example is going to be a bit more complicated. Instead of playing the video input inside one or more slides, I will build a new playlist based on three zones. On the left side, I want regular content. On the top right, I want the video input. And on the lower right, I want my logo. Let's start by adding a new playlist. This playlist will be my master. And since I'm creating content for an HD screen, I will set the resolution to 1920 x 1080, then click Create. Next, I will create the playlist for the left side and set the resolution to 960 x 1080, then click Create. Then, the playlist for the right top and set the resolution to 960 x 540, and then click Create. Finally, I will create the playlist for the right lower Set the resolution to 960 times 540, then click Create. Now that I have created my master playlist and my different zones, I can open up my master playlist and set up my zones. The first thing I have to do is set the background, then open Setting and pick Play Forever. Now, let's add the left side playlist, then reposition and resize the playlist. Add the top right playlist, and finally, the lower right playlist. Let's move back to playlists. Open the left playlist and add some content. Next up is the top right playlist, where I will add the video input plugin, maximize it, open settings and pick play forever. The last playlist is the lower right, where I will simply add my logo, match the background color to the logo, and then go back to the playlist overview. Now, if we take a look at the master playlist, it should be looking something like this. And since I like what I see, I will click publish. And this is how my content looks like. The left side is running regular content. The top right side is my streaming news. And the lower right side is simply my logo. The lower right section could be anything, like the weather, ticker, social media content, or something entirely different. If you're interested in more information on how to build zones, we have a great tutorial for that on YouTube. That was all for today. Thanks for listening.